Hey, whoa, <laughs> welcome to the Carcino for Life channel. I want to say thank you guys once again for doing what you do, making it such a wonderful day to be here to make videos for you guys. Um, definitely, man, when you see something in the comment section or and you feel like you want to leave a comment, please do so. Or if you feel like you know you want to donate to the page, please do so. Hitting the cash app up, and definitely support the page. Hit that donate button in the description box, and hit the stream lab up where you can leave a message for me, and I do respond to them. Now, let's get to it. Earlier today, we told you about Eminem's verse that he put out on the song and how hard he was going on the song and he was going at Nick Cannon. Now, this they said that Eminem was responding to a T.I. podcast where Nick Cannon was on there and he said that he would be, he could beat up Eminem or something, that y'all said. So Eminem decided to respond to that. And that's when you got the song that he did. Now, if Nick came out and said something like, I'll beat Eminem up and Eminem just decided to respond to it, then, okay, all right, I'm not oh, mad that he's bringing it up. I'm thinking he's bringing up something from 10 years ago. But here's the thing. not no Nobody I know watched the T.I. <laughs> Nobody pays attention to the T.I. podcast enough for Eminem to dig that up and find out, like, look at that and say, that's the direction to go. So for you to find the T.I. podcast and to bring that up, you was really searching for something to do. T.I., yo, man, what's going on with you and Eminem? <laughs> Come on, what's going on with you and Eminem, man? Well, you know I I beat Eminem down if I was ever to fight him. <laughs> you know, I was ready to go there. You know, I was gonna beat him up. <laughs> man, that crazy man. That man, I don't know if you do that. That man got his own. He legend. <laughs> oh man, I'm a legend too. <laughs> So, anyway, Nick sits over here and responds. Now, I already told you, when this battle kick off, I got Nick. Nick ain't gonna lose. So, anyway, Nick on his radio station, on his radio show, he had this to say about the Eminem record. Shall we listen to that? Uh, eventually, I guess we will. Or maybe Eminem then took it down already. <laughs> M got you, man. M said, no, -uh, that ain't going at gunpoint. See, you ain't just battling Eminem. You're battling everything that's attached to Eminem. You'd be like, man, why my key don't work in this door no more? Um, Eminem has purchased this home and you have to move right away. And you gonna go, what? It's like, yes, um, hate to regretfully inform you, but yeah, you gotta move. Next thing you know, mom's gonna be like, yeah, I gotta go. I can't talk to you no more. Why? Well, Eminem gave us a call, and I don't think it's a wise thing to do. That's messed up, Mama. Mariah going to call. What did you do? He's going to go, what the heck is going on around here? Nick Cannon just took the kids. I mean, Eminem just took the kids, Nick. Like, what the hell? How could he even do that? The court order gave it to him. I had to sign the papers. 
Eminem is now their father. <laughs> but nah, we got it working now. So here we go. Listen, listen, M has been doing this forever, right? You should change his name from Eminem to like Percocet. <laughs> listen, start calling him Percocet. Now, no, what's, what's the pill that old people say? We're going to call him uh, Cialis. Oh, Cialis. <laughs> Bring your walker, get out your wheelchair, oh. Eminem. Uh, and put pops in whatever you pop. <laughs> pop whatever you want to pop. Should I respond back to this? That, that's well, it doesn't, it's not worthy of a response. You think I, I got to get in my time machine. Go put my gigolo jersey on. <laughs> wow and he got these like two filipino teletubbies over there and they're just like holding on to eminem he's a legend though no he's not <laughs> nick <laughs> Nick comes out and questions his legendary status. That's what I told y'all, man. Nick, Nick would clown this dude to death. Eminem, could, he's a good wordsman, but Nick a clown this dude until he's gone. Like, if what would it be for Eminem if he loses to Nick Cannon? What could Nick gain out of this? Nick will out clown him for sure. Only thing Eminem's gonna do is out rap him. He's gonna out syllable him. <laughs> and it's and everybody's gonna say he won anyway. But let's talk about that point. Is Eminem a legend in this game? Mmm. Now, it depends on what you want to go by as legend. To me, Eminem has more than lived up to the title of legend. Seriously. He's more than did that. You got to understand that Eminem is somebody that even the one, the powers that be, didn't even select. They didn't say, you know what we need? We need a white rapper named Eminem. They were against him. They were like, nobody's going to buy him. The brothers are not going to buy him, and the white kids ain't going to buy him. Why are we wasting our time with this? We'll wait around. Our time will come, and we'll find that white rapper. So they didn't even see potential in him. He grind his way up. From the ground up, white privilege didn't help him when he got his deal. He had skills. The first two, three albums he put out, lyrically inclined, syllables and everything else that he's done, The doors he's opened for some of the guys to even put out albums who never probably would have put out an album. I give him respect for that. And he is legendary. He's not from what I know what he probably means. Not the way that, you know, the other side puts him at. But Eminem, he does deserve that respect. It ain't like he's a complete bum and he's frauding and... He's just Milly Vanilli in his way out. But he's a guy now who's run out of content, you know? He's, he doesn't have any more ideas. His creativity bubble is done. So now he's just looking for something to stay relevant in, and he's lost. I saw it when he was doing the cypher thing. He was just doing the cypher just to promote. 
the fact that he was hot the last cipher he did. Now I got to do something. I got to continue this. Now, I didn't talk to Nick Cannon, but Nick, Nick see what I see. Scamming the bam and the bam and the bam and my Nick Cannon. <laughs> I'm like, dude, it's a bunch of nothing. It's all nothing in his raps. There's nothing to stick to the bones. I mean, really, I could not tell you an Eminem lyric past Encore album. That's it. <laughs> I'm like, it was time then when he had the pistol in the mouth on the album cover, on the inside album cover. He wanted that to be the album cover. And uh, they told him, no, you can't do that on an album cover. And he So that picture that you see on the inside of that, when he's got the barrel in his mouth, he wanted to, that's what he thought, like, this is the end of the Eminem show. This is the encore performance where I come out and then I just take myself out. That's how, just, that's what that album was. And now he was retiring after that. He was done. Because he was, didn't even want to make that album. And was like, man, I made it. You know, like, I'm done. You know, he really didn't have it in him no more. And this was when Proof was alive. So it wasn't like Encore came and he was in a depressional state because of because of proof. That album was completed before the proof incident even happened. So that was the way he was supposed to go out. Those bodies of work right there was epic. With the eight mile soundtrack, um, the first three the albums that he put out and. If you put Encore on there, even though it wasn't a stellar album and did have some songs on it I could listen to, after that, the wheels fell off. The wheels fell off. He became a guy trying to chase what the audience wanted. And lo and behold, he reinvented himself, took the blonde hair out, so he was no longer the blonde hair, blue-eyed Eminem. All the gimmicks was gone, and I'm not afraid to take a stand. Everybody, hold your hands and let me know if you've been down the same road. I'm like, oh Lord, <laughs> Eminem has made a song that I don't know what the heck this is. He's taller than the Brad Paisley or somebody. Man, get me the heck up out of here. Alternative singing Eminem. Oh, these walls are closing in. <laughs> oh gosh, here we go. The walls are closing in again. This is it. Thank you, John Hogan's, for sending me a cash app. I appreciate the love and support. John Hogan's everybody. John Hogan's. John always come through and supports the page. So it's y'all turn to do that. Hit up the cash app. The name's Carcino on that cash app. And definitely, definitely hit up the stream lab whenever you get a chance. I'm out. Deuces.